Welcome to Three Mile Island Stadium in Steeltown, Pennsylvania. Today's forecast is going to be cool and breezy with nuclear lightning and intermittent chance of acid rain. So for those sitting in the stands, don't forget to wear your hazmat suits. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Sniffle Thrills take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The panty wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. Second down and nine. And the running game is starting to click now. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Ah, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? <laughs> Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Did they jingle when they run? They clank, you moron. He said balls, not bells. Wow, the quarterback just threw in. These guys are some high rollers, and they just won the pot. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. four-yard pick up there. Second down and six. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. Oh, so close, but not today. And it's first and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. 
Second down and long. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Not many kickers can kick it over 50 yards in these brutal conditions. Let's see if he can do what few others can. That was like a movie trailer, Grim. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the quarterback. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Second and three. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm going in circles. Third down and six. right now. The defense comes up big, stopping a two-point attempt. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. And 
And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. And that'll bring up third down and seven. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. And the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is... Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grim, hide the stash. On it. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Ah, it's about time, Grim. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that was a foul. No, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. Yeah, I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. <laughs> and it's first and ten. was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he's off to the races. The 20. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. And that'll be second and eight to go. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Man, how did he screw that up? No one died. Bombs don't kill mutants, Grim. Newtons kill mutants. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball. Oh, and he misses the kick. Man, his teammates are going to flog him when he gets back to the sideline. Hey, no game to bad kill. Come on, man. Get on the gun. Get on the gun. Get on And it's first and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. <laughs> Second 
second down and seven. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking streak, and he just slipped away like a... I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves bang. First down. And it's first and ten. And there's another... Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice, Grim. It would have been fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And the quarterback throws another pin. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Second down and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. Third and four. you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay and it's first and ten And it's first and ten. Oh, monster hit! Scratch him off the roster. He's a goner. The 
Giants lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Picks up two yards on the pass. And this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, the defender lays down a wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it comes. Blah. A pickup of about three on that play. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. He rifled that. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Ah, another interception. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. <laughs> and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Has 
Second down and long. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Third down and six. today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt! Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel, he got blown across the room into the deer antlers. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death grim. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarter, he just wrestles away from that tackle. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. And the NFL winning is really about how much you want it, Ricks. Well, he clearly did it with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. The QB looks angry at his offensive line, and I can't blame him. Third down and forever. The defender says, I don't think so. Situation where they should always, always, oh, come on! 
down, and the quarterback unleashes his sonic blast to get the defense. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> First and ten. You ever have a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass? Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. And it's first and ten. This is really a violent game, guys. Second down and nine. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is not going down. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 30. He's at the 20. The 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. First and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Yeah. And it's first and ten. in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten.
nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh, la, la. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. Second down and seven. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. Devastating hit, knocks the ball loose. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Third and two. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. He could go all the way. He's at the 30, the 20. He's at the 10. I'll shoot you in the head. Well, people like it. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm ah, going in circles. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. Ah, that's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. And he 
was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. And they call it enormous dirty trick. He said, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... And he's off to the races. They might catch him. Move, you fat little mutant. And he punched his way out of that tackle. He is fighting for every yard. And he scores! point but you never know with kickers <laughs> the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies here comes the kicker oh, i can't wait to hear this what's the kicker grim uh, this guy in the field oh i thought you were gonna tell me a story like here's the kicker when i turned on the light it wasn't a broad in my bed it was a chip wearing a wig And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the white juice at the Boo Booters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. That was just a joke slam, but the horse took it seriously. Whoa. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, three. Oh, and that's how you play defense. 
defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. One, hot two. Hot three. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third down and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. You've got to catch that. Prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. One, two. Hi. Hi. Nicely done for a first down. First and the offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. At this oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky find his head. He'll be okay. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. He scores! Hey, man, I was hanging on the kettle now. You know what happened? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. Hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much.
much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's magic stunting time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned how with the brain scrambler. I know I've said another hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. The defense takes its final timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. Second down and two. way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful and it's first and ten the steelheads are losers today and let's go down to the field and hear the mvp He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotrophism. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.